Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We also gonna have a look into Ethereum at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. And before we start with the content my friends I have to announce that I have a new collaboration with Bitsgap. I'm just getting started with this all-in-one trading platform so I'm completely new in that but I just can tell you right now that I'm loving this platform my friends and I have attached also down below here in the video description my refer link to this platform because I'm sure that many of you will like it and especially for all the traders out there that maybe don't want to trade themselves with leverage over on Bybit or Femex can take this as a very good alternative because here you have one platform which covers everything you need to gain some passive money without doing too many things because here you can easily attach all the exchanges that you're using so here you don't have to put any deposit or anything like that you just connect all the exchanges that you anyway are using for example like Binance, KuCoin, Kraken, Coinbase and so on and you have one platform where you can access to all your exchanges at the same time time and like that you have a lot of new possibilities how to make some passive money because if you have control over all the exchanges you can do for example arbitrage so thanks to this platform you can easily for example just buy somewhere some bitcoin and sell it instantly somewhere where the price is slightly higher so this is called arbitrage and with this platform it's very easy to do because you have everything just in one screen Screen. and like this you can do some arbitrage in a very simple and easy way the only condition of course is that you have in all of those exchanges that you need here so for example for this arbitrage trade you need an account over on Coinbase and also on Poloniex so through the platform now in theory you could buy here Ethereum Classic and then immediately sell it with a 3% profit so this is a complete new way how to easy make some money next to trading of course so with my own balances I'm currently getting started here and I'm currently trying out the trading bots with some smaller amounts just to see how they perform and how you can use those uh, trading bots and of course how the performance is so if you want to try it out but you don't want to risk your own money you can of course also do here a demo version where you can just try Try out these trading bots without putting any of your money here and you can see that with these three demo trades that I did yesterday I am already in profits without doing anything so these trading bots are very easy to use and I will do a separate video and explain everything a bit better so if you're interested in that then make sure to claim this 14 days trial completely for free Bitscap is offering to our community 14 days of trial with the pro plan so you get the full version for 14 days and if it's playing out for you and also if you like it then you can get a monthly plan the price is starting from $19 a month if you see that during these 14 days you're making money with this bot and of course also thanks to arbitrage then I think this $19 is really nothing and you should get the money very easily back so definitely give it a try my friends currently I'm really loving this new platform just only because of the fact that you can really connect here all of your exchanges in one place and this opens the door for example to do some arbitrage and of course also use their trading bot so far it's working and I just opened a small position yesterday without doing anything here I just started with each $50 one for Ethereum and one for Bitcoin and you can see that I'm already in profits here without doing almost anything because you can change here the parameters I will also do a separate video where I explain you how to set up the bot so it will work a bit better so make sure that you're watching the video that I will post later and also here you can backtest the trading bot so for example here you can put how much money that you would like to invest into the trading bot and then you can backtest this performance so you see if it would have been profitable or not in the last couple of days or weeks and if for you for example Bitcoin and Ethereum is going too slow you can also use all kind of other pairs 
where you're most likely gonna have way more gains within a shorter time. So for example, here you can see the backtest results from last month. As you can see, big gains are made here only thanks to this trading bot. So you don't have to do anything once the trading bot is working. You just have to put the money in here that you would like to trade and of course the desired pair. So if you have a pair that you would like to install this trading bot, you can just surge it here and then run the bot. Otherwise, here you can also go to signals because here this platform is analyzing in all exchanges what pairs are performing currently the best. And like this, you can also just click on these pairs and then set up a bot for them. Like that, you can try out to do even more gains. But currently, I'm more focused here for Ethereum and Bitcoin. I just want to see how this bot is performing here with these two pairs. And you have here a classic bot and also a high performance bot. Currently, I'm going through the classic bot and so far it's working great. I just started yesterday, my friends, and I will do here a tutorial video for this platform. I think a lot of you will love this new platform. It's out there since 2018, but only now they're starting to take off. So definitely go and claim these 14 days of free trial for this platform so you can try it out yourself and then you can decide if you want to get a monthly plan to use this platform forever or not. So far I'm loving that new feature that I have thanks to this platform so definitely go and check it out my friends and if you don't want to connect your exchanges here then just go with the demo version here and try it out with the money that they're giving to you so then you see if it's working out for you or not. So now let's start straight into the content, my friends, because Bitcoin currently is losing the support here of around 62K. I also told you in yesterday's video, my friends, that most likely here we're gonna see a bounce and although yesterday it looked like that we could form here a potential double bottom formation here above 62K and then start to head higher because we were looking quite bullish with this retest here of the support. We had the RSI above the 50 level and also we got a buy signal and this is exactly where I also took a nice long position which currently of course is underwater but I'm pretty confident that latest here at 58 to 59k we're gonna have a bounce like I told you in yesterday's video that if here we're gonna lose 62k we could drop down here towards the 200 moving average right at the main support here of around 58k so what I'm gonna do is if here we're gonna see a bounce I'm gonna add more into my long position which currently is underwater because latest here we should see a bounce and also I'm pretty confident that very soon we are getting another buy signal in the three hour time frame. So I'm gonna add into my long position more once we're getting another three hour buy signal confirmed here. And this is what I'm expecting to happen here probably even today or latest tomorrow. So what we're seeing right now is this drop down towards the 200 moving average to retest maybe here the main support latest here at 58K. We need a bounce if we're dropping below, if we're starting to close four hour candles below this main support, then we are in for a major correction potential even down sub 50K that could take us even here towards 44K where the 20 weekly moving average is lining up. So latest there, then we have to bottom out because otherwise things could start to look very ugly if we are dropping below the 20 weekly moving average. So this is the worst case scenario if now we will not see a bounce latest here at 58k. I think it's very likely that we are coming down to this level but the important thing is that latest here we are seeing a bounce and we are not dropping below this main support. And in the four hour time frame, in theory, we are still looking good, even though we are dropping now below the EMA ribbons. But as long as we are above the 200 moving average and close four hour candles above, everything is still okay. And if we go over into the daily time frame, you can see that right now we are touching the nine daily moving average. So if today we are closing below $60,600, it's almost clear that we are going down to test 58K. But I think here at the 20 daily moving average at around 59K, we should have already enough support so important is right now that we are not starting to close daily candles below the 20 daily moving average it is possible that we are closing below the 9 daily but the important thing is here the 20 daily moving average 
and why I also think that we could reach these levels down here today or tomorrow is because we're getting here a sell signal in the daily time frame. Usually this indicates only that we're coming down to test the supports. For example, here the 20 daily moving average and then have a big bounce to the upside. And because we are right now still in this breakout phase, a fast recovery is possible in my opinion if we are not dropping and closing candles below the 20 daily moving average. So I didn't really expect that Bitcoin could come back down to retest the main support but this is right now what is happening and the important thing is that we are not starting to close candles now especially in the 4 and daily time frame below 58k. That would signal that we will see a bigger correction towards 44k and that of course uh, could shake out a lot of weak hands at least for the short term. I don't think that Bitcoin will go lower than that because we are still in our bull run and there are other things that are showing that most likely here we're gonna see big moves to the upside and we are still far away from our breakout target here which is at around 77 K and that's why I'm still keeping up my long position here even though I'm underwater and I'm gonna add more into my position if we are reaching this 59 to 58 K and since Bitcoin is dropping of course also some altcoins are dropping for example Ethereum also got rejected here after creating new all-time highs here of $2,500. I was hoping to create a support above this new potential support level here of $2,500 because the next target then would be up here at around $3,300. That would have been very, very nice for Ethereum if yesterday we could have had this confirmation here of the new support and then go towards $3,300. But this is not what happened. Also here, same like on Bitcoin, we had this rejection for now. And I think also here latest at around $2,200, we should see another bounce to the upside. So Ethereum is taking the same way like Bitcoin. We are dropping and here it is very likely that we're coming down at least to test the nine daily moving average at $2,200, same like on Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin is dropping towards the 20 daily moving average, so towards uh, this 59K, I think that also Ethereum could easily come down again to retest the $2,000 level and then hopefully have a bounce from it again because I'm also still very bullish for Ethereum. And even though we were expecting a bit this short term pullback here, I'm still leaning more to the bullish side on the bigger picture and uh, this uh, short term pullback I think will be over probably maybe even today or in the next coming days uh, latest because we are still seeing some of the altcoins going completely nuts. For example, Dogecoin had today almost 60% in gains. I have no idea what is going on there but this chart or this coin is going completely nuts my friends and I told you that I'm still owning some Dogecoin because I'm never gonna sell it for me it's like a meme coin that I just want to keep it forever no matter the price it's just a meme coin so if you're buying this coin just buy it for fun don't bet the farm for this coin my friends of course a lot of people are speculating right now that this thing is going up to one dollar so of course it would be nice if so but just take it as a gamble and as a game if you're buying this uh, coin because it's really just a meme coin it's just for fun don't take it as a really serious investment but of course no financial advice so you see my friends that there are still some crazy things going on even though we're going sideways or even we're taking here a little pullback in the top coins and of course also on Bitcoin and at the same time we also have the Bitcoin dominance which is still dropping and as you can see we are now approaching this support here of around 52 percent this support is coming from this descending broadening wedge so if this support is getting lost we will go straight down towards 50 percent and if we would lose 50 percent my friends then I think that we're gonna see a huge altcoin season because in that case we will repeat something similar like we did also in 2017 so so latest here at 52 or 50 percent I'm expecting a drop I don't think that we will go lower than 50 percent at least for now latest here at 52 or 50 percent we most likely gonna see a bounce to the upside in the Bitcoin dominance and that's why I think a lot of profits from the altcoins will float back into Bitcoin and this most likely will also bring the price higher.
So the Bitcoin dominance is still falling, my friends, and that's why we are still seeing some of the altcoins going completely nuts. And I think that this is still altcoin season. And even though we're seeing a little pullback right now, we should expect some of the altcoins to go completely nuts. Same like Dogecoin today in the not so distant future. And another thing that makes me very bullish is here the DXY because the DXY is still falling. Currently, we are having the, still the 50 daily moving average as a support. So it looks like that we could bounce here very soon also in my own indicator you can see that we could get a buy signal and that could indicate that we will go again towards the 200 daily moving average here at 92 dollars to test it but if this will fail if we are starting to trade again below the 200 daily moving average and bring all the moving averages here below the 200 then I think this move is over here and we're gonna continue to go lower towards the main support of around $90 and that would be very much in favor for the crypto and stock market my friend. So let's see what the DXY is doing. If we are even losing here the 50 daily and 100 daily moving average as a support things could start to look very ugly here for the DXY and that of course is very much in favor for our Bitcoin price. And now let's go over to Nasdaq because that's another reason why yesterday I was very confident with my long because not only Bitcoin was looking very bullish and we had a confirmed buy signal, but also because Nasdaq yesterday recovered successfully again above this new support that in theory we should have at around $13,900. So we created again this support and now of course it is important that we're keeping up with this price level. So right now we are having a sell signal in the 4 hour time frame but if we are able to maintain $13,900 as a support and not close the 4 hour candles below this important price level I think that also here we're gonna go to way higher levels potentially even up towards our price target of around $15,000. So Nasdaq also started to look extremely bullish again and even though we had here a sell signal we just came down to test the 9 daily moving average we didn't come down to test the 20 daily right here at $13,400 so that could be still in the cards but as long as we're closing daily candles above the 9 daily moving average currently at $13,800 I'm still very bullish here for Nasdaq even though we are a bit overbought but uh, here also in my opinion we will go to way higher levels very soon but keep Keep in mind that there are some warning signs that we are overbought and if here we're starting to go below the 9 daily and 20 daily moving average we could see a complete retracement back down because we are also far away from the 200 daily moving average here $12,000 so we could even come down to those levels and still remain in our bull market and exactly the same goes also for Bitcoin even though we are here extremely looking bullish and we should expect here big continuations to the upside keep in mind that we could even drop down towards the 20 weekly moving average or even here down towards the 200 daily moving average currently at around 33k and still remain in our bull market even though it could turn here into a downtrend in the daily time frame for the short to mid term but overall we would still remain in our bull market and then expect of course big pumps to the upside so i don't say that we will go right now down towards the 200 daily moving average i'm just telling you that even if so we would still remain in our bull market the trend wouldn't change but of course that would be just a huge correction and scare a lot of people i just want to give out this warning that we are still far away from important moving averages and we could go down to test them at any time and still remain bullish so don't freak out if somehow we're gonna see a major correction my friends because overall bitcoin is about to go really parabolic to the upside and what we have seen for now is still nothing compared to what will come once bitcoin is really starting to move parabolic to the upside so the conclusion for this video my friends is that this pullback of course is a bit worrying because we are approaching here a very critical level but if here we are having a successful bounce to the upside and we're not dropping below 58k we should be good to go for a big parabolic move towards 77k potentially even higher so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to sign up to bitscap use the link down below here to get this free 14 days trial for the pro plan 
a big shout out to Bitscap to give us this nice opportunity and this nice platform where we can do a lot of new things here. So if you want to get this free 14 days trial, use my referral link down below here in the description. And of course, also sign up to Bybit, Femex, Studex and so on to all the exchanges that I'm also using to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum with leverage. And also if you still need an account over on Binance, Swiss, Borg, Coinbase and so on, then use my referral links because with them you will get some extra bonus when you sign up and also some extra money with your first purchase. So definitely use my referral links if you're new in the crypto space or if you still need those exchanges if you want to connect them to Bitscap if you want to try out this uh, trading bot here or do some arbitrage trades. And of course, a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat. If you want to join our community over on Discord, then make sure to use the official link that you find here in the video description. Once you have clicked on this link, you have to go to read first and then click on this thumbs up button. Like this, you are confirming that you are a human and not a bot. And then you have free access to the trading chat. And here you can also get access to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. If you want to get access to it then make sure to send me a private message because a small donation is needed in order to get access to the indicator otherwise just get here a YouTube membership like this you also get free access to the indicator so if you like the content my friends make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel I do daily TA videos and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye